Uh, from what I know, Seth is a good person, as far as people have told me. He seems like a nice guy, though I'm not sure. I feel like he would be... Uh, the best way I can describe him is sometimes he talks like a rambling coke addict. So it gets yeah, me confused. You know. So I feel like hey, if hey, I tried know, to have a conversation with a man, it would be Are like when I'm work? going full uh, ADHD and not knowing what the hell is going on. Because I'm going from once where everyone's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Where I'm just going from one subject to another really fast. Because it like links to each other I'm like in strange ways. Yes. Anyway, we're going to watch Earth Defense Force 5, which is an Earth Defense Force game. I played a little bit of, but I couldn't get past this one level where there were saucers everywhere. For those who don't know, I play the Fencer, which is the heavy weapons unit. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. I'm doing my part. Are you the world? Are you doing your point? part, Fable? No, I, I don't believe in uh, democracy. I see. Or whatever the hell that thing is in, uh, in Helldivers. It's democracy. How about a nice cup okay, of I got it right. <laughs> I don't even know the hell. <laughs> yes, I played a lot of Helldivers. Anyway. And unfortunately, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Isn't that Seriously, always true? Look out your window. Yeah, oh. yeah, Murphy's Law. Oh, there's a Godzilla. You are yeah, now a member of the one Earth Godzilla. Defense Force. Uh, how about fighting giant spiders and giant ants? Yeah, we do that in Fallout all the time. We're fine. These ants are the size of buildings. Have you seen Fallout? Yeah, those ants aren't that big. Civilian forklift operator slash technician Just give them another century. They'll get there. Is, but regardless, uh -huh. God is coming back to Earth. He uh -huh. wants to make it a better place to live. Our I don't remember. Free of pollution, free of microplastics. Free I don't remember this ever being a thing, but then again, I didn't get that far in the game. Free of violent. <laughs> well, okay, not that one. But, uh, <laughs> hey, that's two out of three. Was Look at the size of those else? ants. Oh yeah, free of humans. You guys uh, need to go. Now, what are you going to do about what? it? You're going to do your part. With conflict comes war. This is a machine gun if I've ever seen. the dreaded draft. But that did look like the Why? machine gun. I don't know, but that's a part from a Yakuza game that I don't know about. I haven't really played the yeah, Yakuza yeah, I, games. I, I recognize the Yakuza in this. I'm just... I'm just confused as to why that specific scene. I don't know. A tip just for you. You can't get drafted if you get enlisted. Oh, enlisted I've it. actually played enlisted. It's uh, all right, but it's freaking loud when someone turns on AA gun. It's uh, not the best because it's very much pay to win. World War II themed multiplayer. Basically, you're well, in my question above anything. Uh, it's basically you're in control of an entire squad of troopers and you like choose what kind of troopers and if they have a gun and if you're doing like a tank or a plane or something that's one squad but uh the thing is you need to buy weapons for those troopers it takes a while to earn that stuff and yeah yeah player shooter with a strong focus on historical authenticity. I We're have a question. To repeat it anyway. What is so your question? Get acquainted with Enlisted's massive arsenal when it comes weapons, to these vehicles, games, are there people randomly RPing with racism? Because apparently that's what? a thing in war games where everyone... In what? certain war games, there's literally people who RP racism for some reason because they think it's funny. I wish I was kidding. Uh, people down in the comments, tell us if that's true. Fight's always keeping you Lit in the it's either that or someone spamming the mic with some slurs. Literally, I've, I've that's been mo in that's, uh, that's most war games. That's most shooters, yeah. Fable. Well, at least the big I ones. <laughs> Especially Call of Duty. Yeah. Essentially Call of Duty. Low, low price of completely free. Just use my yeah, it's a free game. game. But you don't at the end of the video, for a special offer. It's pay to win. Start as an excuse yeah. for Sandlot to oh yeah, that's one of... I think that's the original... Or they defense force something a new market force the primordial mm -hmm. human desire for increasingly dangerous insecticide listen raid is no yeah. longer enough we're living in the garden of eden and the best way to defend it is to burn it to the ground listen this is my personal uh feel good game because i hate bugs and they hate me so it's so, perfect every edf game is just the last game but slightly better for example pretty much can now do this 
This franchise is in a constant battle to upstage itself, and surprisingly, mm -hmm. it's still working. This game is certifiably insane what the hell? in the best sense of the word, because nothing makes sense. So, pop in. We've got aliens to fight. But before you can play, you'll need okay. to pick a class. Here's a simple test to find out the right class for you. Out of your friends, which are you? Truck freak crazy ass. <laughs> the fire. If you've never played you <laughs> I don't know what that's from. But yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is from either. Uh, I always play the fencer. Or I played the Ranger every once in a while, but the Fencer is heavy weapons galore. Like it has, you can go twin mini guns if you want. Literally, pick the closest thing to normality for Ranger. Every yeah. class shares one guiding principle. I can't see anything, and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> if you get strong enough guns, that is what happens in these games. <laughs> Because there's just so many enemies, you're like, I'm not stop. Sh I'm not gonna stop shooting until there's no one left alive. The ranger has access. Also, till there's no more buildings left standing. Because <laughs> yes, the buildings are destructible. Ugh, spider. Keeper. The shotgun, which is only the beginning. EDF is a game of high explosives and higher explosives. My dog keeps coming over to me to like. She's like, "Hey, scratch my back." I'm like, "Stop." Stop there. How about C20? C20. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, uh, go get him, champ. Holy hell! Much like the currency of Zimbabwe, the explosives of EDF have experienced hyperinflation because no. I have just unlocked C-70. What does that do? Launched missile-based weapons platforms work by putting a rocket in the tube and then firing it out of a tube. However, okay. this is no time for tradition. Reloading is for chumps, so uh, we just cram like five in there at the same time. Hello, what's Maury. What's that could happen? I mean, aside from small, unprovable changes in our reality. <laughs> Each time you fire that rocket, <laughs> Nelson Mandela dies on a different date. Each what? time you reload, the Berenstein Bears change once again. And each time you... Oh, it's because he's saying how much you're firing literally causes the fabric of reality to break. Oh my lord. Which, Why? yeah, because there's a lot of camera shake and dear god is there a lot of booms in this game when you're trying to defend places. You do no damage because this is the post-nerf reality. But that's okay. Explosions don't even scratch the surface of what a ranger can do. Snipe uh -huh. your enemies from afar. Minefield your enemies from up close. Annoy your team cool. with DNG grenades. What? Weld the elemental powers of fire, <laughs> acid, anime, and every flavor of Kool-Aid. Or the most powerful what? thing a ranger can do change class. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I haven't been entirely forthcoming. If you're playing multiplayer, there is no reason to pick Ranger. And if yeah, Ranger is the basic bread. Uh, it's basically the best way I can describe to you, uh, Fable. It's the fighter. Mm -hmm. oh. What? The fighter is so versatile. Yeah, but the think about the fighter, but without all of its classes that can make it into basically other classes. Like subclasses. And that's the ranger. That's you. Yeah. We don't talk about the ranger much because no one else plays them. If you're playing Usually. single player, you know what? I completely respect Hey, Davey. You do you. Presumably, <laughs> as a consumer of Oh, yeah, there's food. these pop ups. That, it's funny enough, some of them have been in the newest game are Hull Alive uh, VTubers. Uh, one of them, I think, is Gargoyle. The other one is Iris. But yeah, I don't know what they do exactly. I think they're decoys that soak up enemy damage. These entertainment products, no woman is physically present, or else what? she would save you from your poor decisions. <laughs> punching the copy of Persona 4 out of your hands and freeing you from the path of a child predator. What? But fear not. EDF allows you to look Okay, that was a far left turn right there, Seth. What the hell? A woman from a safe distance. Oh. Introducing the Wing Diver. If you're a Philistine, you might be upset because they removed her titty window. But I've stared at this brapper for right. at least 50 man hours. So imagine. Yeah, the Wing Diver are the aerial units that apparently use a lot of energy weapons, from what I remember. I played them once because I'm just the fencer. I am the. S well, he'll explain. After 10 long years, she's finally wearing clothes. Let <laughs> this be a lesson, fellas. If she says, I'll be ready in 10 minutes, you've got plenty of time. Take a nap, do your taxes, read a book. But for the love of. You know what's sad about that fable? What? That describes my sister. 
Oh my. Quite literally, we are basically when my family was all together, we are still all in the car waiting on her. Yeah. I'm so sorry. So, ladies, unfortunately, my sister enforces your stereotypes. God, do not leave a car running. Trust me, the money you save will be well worth it. Why? You might even save enough to purchase all the DLC. Wait, now, there's uh, DLC? Healing. Yes, what the hell is that? Completely necessary and unavoidable business expense. And I will be deducting it from my taxes. What now, the uh, hell is that? Ah, uh, yes, video games. The Wing Diver has a jet pack. The propellant is magic video game jet fuel, which has uh. the non-Euclidean properties of a single Romanian, virtually what? infinite, and given the chance, will asexually reproduce to maximum capacity. What, this Seth? also powers her weapons. Now, it may seem restrictive to fly and shoot with the same energy reserve, but don't worry. That's why they come with internal magazines. Or at least they used to. But now oh. some overworked, glue-huffing intern made almost every weapon charge and discharge, which is great for single-shot weapons, but for anything longer than that, it's like... What the hell? Oh. I guess I'm gonna be here for the next 20 minutes. There's no way to know this in advance. It's not a weapon stat. You have to read through the descriptive paragraph for every gun to find out whether it's magazine-based or hmm. magazine cringe. Life must be hard in Japan. Fava, Fava, what I What the hell is going on? UX designer. <gasps> what the hell? You bring this honor to our family. No what the hell? Like, a good what user the hell? Interface. Get these so... notions out of your head. Now sit down for dinner. Your mother made your what? favorite tortured duck penis. <laughs> Very nutritious. The Fenzer could be summarized as. I don't even know what just happened there. <laughs> I. I'm pretty sure there was racism somewhere there. Something happened there. Oh, I'm just gonna, like, yeah. Ends. There is, a, there is definitely now. a stereotype there Defensor somewhere for the sure. Polar opposite of a wing diver. Well, he's going to kill you eventually, given time. But he's yeah. slow, very slow. But yeah, that's the one thing about the fencer. He has a lot of damage and he brings it full, but he is slow. He is incredibly slow. But if I have an auto cannon, it doesn't matter what range I'm getting. I will hit you eventually when you can do a weld anything. Many guns, yeah. mortars, missiles, melee weapons, shields, whatever you want. What? Just remember, I lied. He's not slow at all. You get two slots for support equipment. So True. while the novice fencer veers around uncontrollably, the master fencer just instant transmissions to where he needs to be. Yeah, I'm they can boosters. Very good fencer because I have brain rot from all the hours I spent playing Air Raider. The Air Raider has guns, but more important, Can you guess what the Air Raider strikes. does, Fable? Howitzers, cannons, bombers, gunners, or I'm assuming they launch everything from the air. Yes, which considering the consider the type of game you're playing right now, Fable. One where you deal with aliens, possibly the what I assume to be the Void Dragon. Uh, and lots of lots of anime stuff. Lots yes. of explosion, incredible amount of explosions. Also, I'm 100 percent sure that uh, Metallic God is the Void Dragon. Can't convince me otherwise. Uh, people in the comment convince him otherwise. People in the comments. Anyway. No, you want to convince me? You gotta donate. Donate to, to who Julie or to where? Cookies. To me, I need cookies. Okay, apparently Fable wants you guys to donate cookies, so think about doing that. But he never said yes, what please. kind of cookies, so you could give him raisins in his cookies without him even knowing. I like raisins. I'll take those. You could make them spicy cookies. Anyway. Bulge lasers, whatever Aww, your heart sad. desires. When so Hello, Common, but yeah. Something renders the game completely unplayable for <laughs> anyone with screen shake on. You know it's good. EDF is fully aware of it. Funny enough, that's what a friend did when we were playing uh, the 4.1 version. He just started dropping air raids because he wanted to play the air raider. And just constant explosions around me. I'm like, dude, stop! Griefing teammates by your very presence <laughs> is a fundamental human right. You can summon yeah. giant lasers as he's showing, giant air raids of all kinds, cluster bombs. Ah. Don't throw things at me. The air Raider has a third weapon slot, and more importantly, I the 150 millimeter cannon fire. This game will inform you the status of. Oh, yeah, they can also summon vehicles. Which is another thing an air raider do, and drive them. Sometimes the vehicles are giant super mechs. Every single airstrike in the current airspace. Oh. That's the equivalent of telling me, a peaceful opium farmer in Iraq, that there's a hellfire drone circling above me. Believe me, 
I already know. But hey, I know that when mm. I'm incarcerated in a padded cell, <laughs> I'm comforted by the sweet sound of this is DE202. We're flying to cover the ground units again. again. Who are you We're calling a ground unit? Oh. I'm taking to the skies. Never mind. The <laughs> aerator has a wide array of vehicles to choose from, provided they haven't already been stolen by the ranger. <laughs> but I Here's a quick warning on handling. Every motorcycle is completely unusable. Uh, but yeah, uh... Funny enough, the only classes that can use vehicles are the Ranger and the Sky uh, Raider. Crawler comes in clutch for underground oh, missions, but you might need a barf bag. And Whoa. finally, the armored vehicle grape is what happens when you sand your tires for aesthetic effects. Coincidentally, the grape what is the, the strongest is vehicle in the entire game. Speed versus armor isn't really a debate when a pack of spiders can unwind the fucking fabric of reality <laughs> in about three seconds. Dear God, look at the that health bar. is described as a support class because oh I support my, my teammates what? into the afterlife. <laughs> you know what? No. I love that. <laughs> the afterlife. That sounds like something uh, Kars would say. I support you into the afterlife. Oh my god. Actually, it sounds like something we would say to Kars. Never mind. Of these friendly fire jokes. Yes, I no it longer sounds like something we would say person, to him. This agent of chaos. Maybe I should force you, Radkoy, and Kars to play this game it's with time me. To turn a new leaf. Deploy the Roombas. Oh Every god. class has lock on the, weapons. The Roombas. Reduce the risk of friendly fire. And Air Raider has a suit of tools to make them even better. Most of these you'll use once. Realize they're absolute trash and never touch them again. Yeah, when I'm the fencer, I don't use lock on weapons because they require. Or when I'm playing. You know what I mean. When Fencer has a lock on weapon, you know, for rockets, and you would require an Air Raider to, well, set it up for that, and I'm like, yeah, no, because that's a little too much setup, and we don't have time for that. The bugs are everywhere. Was in the first place boxes, just like your unconscious roommate who's filled with delicious kidneys. Every alien <laughs> what? is a veritable pinata of goodies. Health pickups restore Why your health. Three weapon kidneys? pickups give don't you weapons. Humans Dep normally only have two. Yes, only if you try really hard do you get a third only kidney. A dice roll for some only really hard. esoteric loot table and armor pickups I'm give not you plus ask one how next health works. permanently. This system <laughs> is garbage it sucks no yeah it. It in order to get new sense. weapons you have to but find weapon boxes on the ground to games that make sense they're attracted to drywall and the taste of a homeless man's adrenaline as you chase him through the streets <laughs> of new york these new unlocks allow you to create a wide variety of team builds based yeah. on the situation finding out which situation you're in is a simple two-step process do whatever you did last time and get annihilated by some horseshit one yeah. brainstorming session later and you'll figure it out Ravens yeah there are there are some interesting, like, com combinations you can do as a working team together. Until, much like my clothing, the unending tide erodes away your very being. Until there is a funny no thing where I saw someone have a video where, you know the giant robot he was just showing? They got into a fit fist fight with a basically Godzilla in this. <laughs> they just started repeatedly punching him in the face, so he couldn't use his laser. Oh, oh my lord a lifeless husk driven by spite to beat just one more mission this is especially yeah. true of the dlc which replaces gameplay with cock and ball torture <laughs> to aid your team's camaraderie in these dark times edf has the most extensive voice command system you will oh, ever yeah. see in your entire life and most of them have voice acting oh yeah usually you can make the soldier start singing by doing the first line of the song and then they'll do the next one like, they want to be an Air Force Ranger? No, it's like, to save our mother Earth from any alien attack. And then they'll sing, from vicious giant insects who have once again come back. Anyway. Oh my lord. Yeah, they have, there's a lot of EDF songs. 50 foot cruise missiles, but the greatest <laughs> weapon of all is hope. When the situation is at its most dire, it's on you to ignite the fires of hope with song. Oh yeah, he's doing the songs. Oh, we are the valiant infantry. Yeah, this is the song the from EDF Five. Surprisingly, so does the story. This is a oh, universe where everyone eats glue, including the aliens. What? However, it is imperative that you understand the plot. So allow me to give you a quick rundown. 
So first you're a civilian, but then giant ants show up, so they give you a firearm. But when you get to the surface, it turns out there's an all-out alien invasion. Yeah, that's what happens in the first mission from what I remember. country could be responsible, as if it's already well known that Russia or North Korea has like a few thousand battalions of ants ready to go. More importantly, you need to get to safety. Your sergeant is terrible at directions. So oh yeah, you start you out in like civilian clothing for the most part. You're never safe. Suddenly, a new type of alien oh gets Lord. deployed. To paraphrase the game dialogue, I, I can't shoot them. They're... They're just like us. <laughs> and then you see what they're referring to, and clearly it is indistinguishable from humanity. Look, two arms, two legs, and a head. My God. <laughs> you yeah, know that is definitely the embodiment of humanity, right there. That's a giant toad man with a laser gun. It's a fabulous Man, that is head. peak humanity evolution. What are you talking about? I'm about to backhand your head off of you. Resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> then these guys get deployed and nobody what? says anything. Who's getting the Ch best head? Chat, me, your comments me, mean to me. Remember, Chinese Taipei belongs to the CCP. A giant battle what? takes place in Beijing, where it's rumored that humanity has some kind of super weapon. Also, Godzilla shows up. This is oh. completely unrelated to the plot. Beijing defeats the invasion and reveals their super weapon. Which is Pollution. No, I'm not making that up. Uh, it's pollution. Aliens are weak to air pollution, and their blood contains microbes that scrub the air of all pollutants. Late what the game hell? Also introduces green ants that eat concrete and digest microplastic. Another kaiju shows up. Oh! Really? We have a giant mech for that. It oh, yeah. That, uh, I forget the name of Godzilla's best friend. I can't remember. But it looks like him. Turns out, the aliens are working with giant bees. I have a oh. small aneurysm and get back to writing this review. What the hell? Lady gets desperate and turns to mythology. Apparently, ancient humans were created when God descended in an egg-shaped ship. She gets immediately okay. gaslit by the radio operator, telling her, That's ridiculous. We live in the real world, not fantasy. Get back to work. Oh yeah, also, we need to find the egg-shaped command ship and uh, blow it up. A what the hell? bar fight ensues for reasons unknown. Then, I spent three missions killing a walking fortress. I I forgot why. Probably because my blood alcohol was high enough to wipe out a family of four. <laughs> or my mind was preoccupied because you shoot the mothership and it turns into a biblically accurate angel. What? And then God, capital G, descends to Earth. And what do they do? They try to arrest That's him. just the <laughs> boy dragon. Oh, did you hear him? <laughs> Family of Did four. you hear that? Fable? My mind was preoccupied because you shoot the mother ship. They try to arrest God. Yes. Accurate yes. angel, and then God, capital G, descends to Earth. Uh, it does not look like the Void Angel because the Void or the Void Dragon because it doesn't have wings and a tail. Obviously, Fable. Mac, you're just not seeing it. Oh I don't God. know what to tell you. They oh my God! Try to arrest him. EDF tries to arrest God, and God resists arrest so naturally we have to murder god yes what you the kill fuck? god because after all this is a japanese role-playing game god is dead god remains dead and we have killed him and then a new vegas style epilogue plays to tell you that 90 percent of the world's population is fucking dead whoa the remaining 10 percent they're in india please remember this is the same nation where a politician tried to prove the safety of the ganges river by drinking its water oh yeah i heard about this Immediately, he was rushed to the ICU. <laughs> yeah. I hope you understand. Why. Immediately, he was rushed to the ICU. <laughs> uh, Fable, do you know anything about the Ganges? Uh, I just know it's one of the most uh, polluted rivers in all of the world. Yes. It's, it's really heavily polluted. It's ridiculous what I mean when I say that EDF is a parallel universe where Down Syndrome is normal and chromosomes work like Pokemon. You collect them all and they battle for dominance. To close off, I'd like to share a story. In elementary school, for some reason, they put a special needs kid in the same class as us. He really okay. wanted to play with an action figure we had, but okay. we didn't let him because, obviously, he's going to destroy it, so... He okay. shoved it up his ass. And what? Now, no one could play with it because no one wanted to. And also, Ew, we were what really the superstitious at the time. We thought that uh, touching poop is how you catch AIDS. And for a pair of eight year olds, we were kind of half right. The homosexual apple does not fall far from the homosexual tree. What? Seth? Unintentionally reveals a deep seated truth about the human condition. Aliens, if you ever dare invade our planet, <laughs> we're going to destroy it first. <laughs> <laughs> Fable's gone insane. <laughs> yes, it goes from 
Oh, it goes from talking about a story <laughs> to a freaking to a freaking weird to a freaking weird past to the fact that it revealed that humanity will destroy itself before the aliens can. They will yep. destroy Earth before we can. <laughs> We will destroy yes, we, we are apparently Arcadia. Just hit my neighbor. I know that I mean, because I've been playing enlisted this entire time, and oh. I need help. Join for free. That might be why he was talking like that. Days of premium time and several orders <laughs> for troops and weapons. Where are we dropping? Anywhere. Enlisted is available on PC, Common. Xbox, and PlayStation with cross-platform support. I'll see you on the front lines. As always, more content to come. So stay tuned. A oh. warm thanks to the many members of a merchants guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos except i haven't had an opportunity to charge you but that will soon change you're all truly wonderful have a good and one. so are you seth even with your crazy monologues that uh, sometimes we can't understand um, and i don't know what you're talking about but the void dragon ha god had the void dragon's wings and tail the fact that you all can't see it makes me sad Anyway, besides Fable going slowly insane, thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you like this video. If you like it well enough, consider doing all those nice things, you know, like liking the video. And, uh, well, subscribing, because we, I try to put out a new video each and every day, and yeah... Thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!